You know what I'm saying? Like, Nip had no ego. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, true. like Nip came to me and said, I want you to mentor me. You know, I want to get into real estate. I want to get in. I want you to teach me all your, you know what I mean? Like, your business secrets. You know what I'm saying? I was like, whenever you got questions, pull up. Rapper Nipsey Hussle's alleged killer was attacked on his way to court. Eric Holder's attorney tells TMZ that he was attacked by two people while in a holding cell. Holder needed three staples after being cut, what's believed to be a razor. He also may have lost consciousness during the attack. All right, let's break this down in a way that hits a little closer to home, because what we're about to dive into is heavy. Picture this. Nipsey Hussle's killer just shook things up big time, pointing fingers at none other than Diddy and Jay-Z, claiming they were the masterminds behind Nipsey's tragic end. Yeah, you read that right. He's saying they hired him, then left him to deal with the fallout. If you've ever wondered what really went down that day, you might want to sit down, because this tea is scalding hot. Now, here's the lowdown. Nipsey was more than just a rapper. He was becoming a real force in the community, growing his influence in ways that went beyond music. He was stepping into the world of real estate and activism, and that, apparently, didn't sit right with certain people. Word on the street is, Diddy and Jay-Z felt threatened, thinking Nipsey was stepping on their toes. They allegedly tried to keep tabs on him, even going as far as attempting to recruit his girlfriend, Lauren London, to play double agent. When none of that worked, they supposedly went for the ultimate betrayal, hiring someone to take him out. Now, fast forward to today. The man convicted of Nipsey's murder is reportedly spilling everything, and these new claims are sending shockwaves through the industry. It's not just about losing an artist. It's about losing a man who was a symbol for change, a Grammy-winning hero to his community. His death left a massive hole in so many hearts. But now, with these revelations, folks are starting to wonder if we're just beginning to scratch the surface of what really happened. Remember back in 2018, when we all heard the official story? Nipsey had a run-in with a guy named Eric Holder, allegedly called him a snitch, and not long after, Holder came back to Nipsey's marathon store and shot him. The Eric Holder got locked up, to the convicted, lot of and Nipsey's sentenced to 60 years. Marathon clothing, but things got Nipsey real sketchy during the trial. Chilling. Holder was attacked in jail by two other inmates, which made people start whispering, was someone trying to keep him quiet? That's when the conspiracy talk really started to pick up. People began wondering, was Holder just a pawn in a bigger game? Diddy and Jay-Z's names started popping up in conversations, and singer Jaguar Wright, who's known for exposing shady industry secrets, only added fuel to the fire. She even compared Nipsey's death to Lisa Left Eye Lopes, claiming Nipsey was working on a documentary about the controversial healer Dr. Seabee, and that may have put a target on his back too. Then there's Lauren London. Rumors started flying about her connection to all this madness. Jaguar Wright claimed Lauren, who had ties to Diddy's crew, might have been part of the setup. According to the rumors, she was supposedly in Diddy's inner circle, and some folks even think she was on his payroll back in the day. With Jaguar talking about how Lauren may have been used to spy on Nipsey, eyebrows are definitely raising. After Nipsey's death, Lauren appeared heartbroken, but her interactions with Diddy at the funeral raised questions. Diddy apparently pulled her aside, calling her Bo, a nickname Nipsey used, and some fans felt that was way too personal. Why was Diddy so involved in her grief? Why did he use such an intimate name for her? These little details got people side-eyeing the whole situation. To make things even messier, rumors swirled about Lauren and Diddy, possibly dating after Nipsey's death especially when Diddy posted and quickly deleted a picture of them together at a party. Lauren denied the rumors, but fans still couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't adding up. Old photos resurfaced of Nipsey, Lauren, and Diddy all together, and Nipsey didn't look too comfortable in those shots. Jaguar Wright didn't hold back either. She pointed out that Lauren's sister, Capricorn Clark, used to work for Diddy. According to Jaguar, Lauren may have cozied up to Diddy to help her sister secure a job. Capricorn even posted some cryptic tweets about black women being used as sacrifices. And that's when things really started to spiral. As if all that wasn't enough, there's talk that Diddy might have delayed the release of Nipsey's Victory Lap album for his own reasons. Nipsey had reportedly brought the nearly finished album to Diddy for feedback, 
and some believe Diddy may have tried to take control of it to slap the bad boy label on it and revive his brand. Was Nipsey just another piece in a game Diddy and Jay-Z were playing to protect their own interests? And then there's the cryptic tweet from Nipsey himself, posted just a day before his death. It's a blessing to have powerful enemies. Did Nipsey know he was in danger? Was he aware of the forces working against him? But as the dust settles, and these accusations continue to ripple through the industry, we're left with more questions than answers. Nipsey's death wasn't just a loss for his family and fans. It was a blow to an entire movement. He was more than just a rapper. He was a symbol of hope for communities that rarely see one of their own rise and fight for real change. So, the idea that powerful figures like Diddy and Jay-Z could be involved in something so sinister feels hard to digest. Yet, in a world where billion-dollar empires are at stake, people have done far worse to protect their interests. The rumors aren't just swirling in hip-hop circles, either. They've caught the attention of those outside the culture. From media outlets to conspiracy theorists, everyone's got their own take on whether this is just another twisted narrative or if there's a shadowy truth lurking beneath the surface. Could the man we've all seen as a visionary have been caught in a deadly game of power and control? Could his commitment to uplift his people have put a target on his back that he couldn't escape? And then there's Lauren London, caught in the center of this web of rumors and accusations. If she really was a pawn in all of this, it raises the stakes even higher. How much did she know? Did she unwittingly play a part in something darker? Or is she just another victim in a story that's spiraling out of control? The idea that someone could manipulate the love she had for Nipsey as part of a bigger scheme is chilling. As the story continues to unfold, one thing remains clear. Nipsey's legacy is untouchable. Whether the truth ever fully comes to light or stays buried in the murky depths of the industry, his influence will continue to inspire generations. He stood for something real, something that couldn't be bought or sold, and that's why his name still carries so much weight. Nipsey's spirit continues to resonate, urging people to hustle not just for themselves, but for the communities they come from, the world may never know the full extent of what happened on that tragic day in 2019. But one thing is for sure, the conversation about Nipsey Hussle is far from over. His story, his impact, and his vision have left an indelible mark that even the darkest of conspiracies can't erase. As the hitman reportedly starts talking, the question becomes, will the truth finally see the light of day? Or is this just another story that'll get buried like so many others in the music industry. Nipsey's death was more than a loss for the hip hop community. It was a blow to the heart of the people who saw him as a leader and a symbol of hope. No matter what, Nipsey's legacy stands strong. He was a man who refused to play by the rules of an industry that thrives on control. He was building something real, something that couldn't be bought or manipulated. So, whether these accusations hold water or not, one thing remains clear. Nipsey's influence, his love for his community, and his desire to uplift those around him will never be forgotten. But the question that's haunting everyone now is, did we ever really know the full story behind his tragic end?